This is my first time attempting to wax myself. I'm hella scared. It's pain, beauty, it's pain, beauty. Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time stopping by, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, or share. If you're returning, mm kisses you're my darling my sugars and everything today guys i'll be showing you how i would be waxing because it's my first time to wax myself so just a bit of backstory i have been waxing for as long as i discovered what waxing was um we're currently on lockdown covid19 is uncertain we don't know how long we would have to be at home obviously spas are closed down i have attempted to shave my underarm last week and to be honest i don't like the results like my hair they grow really really fast and i feel like with shaving i have to do it every three days plus i've done everything under the book i've read the manual on everything you have to do not to have ingrown hair not to have bumps not to get ratchy and i do get all of that so i have such a sensitive skin and I like waxing just because it lasts longer. Um, this is what we'll be using today. I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart. I believe this pro this brand is called Mayor or Mayor. I have an app with my pronunciation, so let's see. Mayor. I believe it's about nineteen dollars to twenty dollars plus tax. Um, it is the hair remover sugar wax. Um, just so you know, it says here that it is 100% rinseable and the result lasts up to 4 weeks and is effective on short hair. So based on the fact that I shaved last week, so I would consider my hair to be short. There are some steps that are very important before you wax. Number one is to exfoliate. So you either exfoliate the day before you get the wax done or you exfoliate the morning before. What are the things you use to exfoliate? They are called exfoliate scrubs or cream um, there are several types I use scent eyes you would also need an aloe vera gel this is the one I would be using I got it from Walmart um, I don't know how much it cost I believe it was about ten dollars also you will need a cutting pad I got this from Dollarama as well and last but not the least you would also need a tweezer for afterwards just to let you know you can also use baby powder this was gotten from Dollarama as well I believe these are for people that have longer hairs or the friction is too much I feel like baby powder helps to like loosen up the friction of some people just prefer to use baby powder for the waxing area you have to clean it and make sure it has no product like you have no deodorant on and make sure it's dry to get the best results if you decide to use like on um, you have like roll-on and all of that that could cause it not to be as effective as it should be so the area has to be dry and clean very important okay this is my first time attempting to wax myself i'm scared of the fact that i would be doing it myself i'm just being completely honest like for me pain it's attainable like i'm okay with pain i'm not scared of it but in my situation it's just because i would be the one inflicting the pain on myself i'm hella scared I'm hella scared but I have done my research and they said stay calm stay cool and collected especially if it's not your first time getting wax they said just pretend you're someone else talk yourself through and just rip it off so for this waxing kit it does contain the sugar wax that you can microwave and then it has 15 wash able to reuse reuse able strip and one salon spatula and one insert i don't know what that is we're going to find out the description or the directions are on the pack i would walk you through guys on how to do it if you're comfortable with waxing and you do wax yourself sis leave in the comment tell me the tips so guys i'm going to walk you through the process with me hopefully baby girl comes out clean clutch and everything So guys, I can tell it's um, warm, 
not extremely hot so i'm working really fast because i don't want it to be cold by the time i start my process uh, on the guy this says after heating it off with 30 seconds you put the spatula in the middle and you mix it it should have like a, a creamy texture so i think that's what i'm getting here because this is hella creamy now so guys this is a bit personal if i say so myself so this is the hair we're working with today it's short is not a lot so first thing first um just, just make sure because i sweat a lot just make sure that there are no liquid secondly you have to apply the wax at the direction your hair grows so make sure you look at your underarm hair for mine it grows upwards section right here you should place it guys and you're to drag it on the opposite direction of your hair so my hair grows yeah see my hair grows upward i have to drag it downwards <laughs> Woo! guys are you ready all right let's do this one and you have to drag it quickly and firmly so one two <sighs> Oh shit. Guys, I thought I had it in me. So you have to pull it one time. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain. Beauty is what? Pain. One, two, three, go. Oh my gosh. Guys. Is it just me? <laughs> None of my hair went. Oh my gosh. Didn't I apply a lot? Okay, so I'm just gonna pull more. Okay, I got it. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm a pro. <laughs> Okay, so now if I can do this myself, waxing lady, you might be out of business. Okay, so let's go close up. I think it took a bit of hair. And this sugar wax is not painful at all. When I say at all, it's not. Oof. Okay, I'm making a mess right here. I don't feel the pain compared to regular waxing that I do. Like, what the hell? I feel like a child that was just screaming, crying wolf when there were no need for that. It might also be because of the area I'm working with. I've come to realize that towards my arm, it's not that sensitive to the pain. So that's just a plus you guys should be aware of. It might just be because of the area that I'm working with. A few moments later. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, shit. I messed up. A few inches later. Two hours later. One eternity later. I have gone through about six strips at this point. And see, like it's all over the place. My arm is starting to hurt, like, still have this section left. I don't know if you guys can see it. I mean, for some reasons, the middle section doesn't want to go out. I'm to attempt it again, I'm getting sweaty. So that's another reason why I poured the powder, because I started to sweat. really want to take out the middle hair and let, for me to just know that, yes, I'm done. Like, for some reason, it's not as painful as when I used to go to the spa. Is it that the spa people just don't like me? Because I don't understand. I thought I was going to scream like, who, ha, and everything, but no. This is not painful at all, in my opinion. 
because I know people's pain tolerance are different. So, guys, let's attempt. I've tried this thing like about four times now. So let's attempt to get the middle section again, and this will be the last time. If it doesn't work, I'll just let the go, the hair go, because I don't want to irritate my skin. Because at this point, looking at what I have gone through, I feel like. I have greatly irritated my skin so this is our last attempt guys fingers crossed that this actually this hair works away okay she I'm getting hungry for some reason I feel like it's the wax because I don't know I've never seen a pink wax before but it might also be my application, but I did it according to how it's stated in the description on what to do. So at the same time, I'm like, is it really me? Because I'm really going in here. I ordered another wax from Amazon, so I feel like I'm just going to leave my other hair and give it a try because at this point, I'm like greatly tired. I'm just going to apply aloe vera gel. This is just the end of my waxing experience because my hand hurts. See, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment. Um, I checked the reviews for this wax and it said it should work. So maybe it doesn't work for like people with African or black skin. That might be another thing because for some reasons i feel like the wax is not strong enough for my hair and i have a 4c hair so that might explain why it doesn't work um but it worked for like the outer area where i had like lesser hair um, but i didn't have a lot of hair like that so it should work i'm just rambling but thank you for watching and i hope you attempt this and tell me what you think please tell me in the comment section if you've used this particular wax itself and if it worked out for you okay have a good day